Let's learn in this video how to perform a node image upgrade within an AKS cluster. In AKS, we have a new node versions that are available each almost two weeks. Those new versions contain security patches and updates for the tools that are used inside these nodes. To stay compliant with security, it's recommended and it's highly recommended to upgrade the node images within the cluster. So that node image upgrade will perform a rolling upgrade for the nodes one by one. And by the way, that is the same process that will be used with the Kubernetes or with the AKS upgrade. If I move from version 123 to version 124, then behind the scenes is the same rolling upgrade mechanism that will be run it. Kubernetes releases a new version each four months. We can view those different versions on the Kubernetes official GitHub repository. AKS will try to follow up with that release cadence. So each time Kubernetes releases a new minor version, AKS will release a preview that will be available one or two months later. Then AKS will release the GA version, which is the general availability version, that is the version ready to be used in production one or two months later. After that, that GA version will be supported for 12 months. And AKS, supports only three latest general availability versions. This means that the, for the cluster administrators, they need to upgrade at a minimum of once a year to stay on a supported version. In this table here, I have an example of the different supported versions. I have taken this screenshot from this link on the Azure AKS documentation that is already, uh, that will be always updated with the different versions we can view those Kubernetes or AKS different versions either using the command line. If I run the command azaks get versions, then specify the region. I will view here the different versions that are supported and also I can see the preview versions. The AKS releases will be available on the Azure slash AKS official GitHub repository where we'll find the different versions that will be released each uh, always uh, almost each uh, two weeks and those are the new releases or the new upgrades available for the node images using used in AKS. We can also view this information by region on the AKS release status that is available on release.aks.azure.com where we can view here by region the different versions and the specific versions available for these nodes. So to upgrade the node image, we can do that either from the Azure portal. If we go to the Kubernetes or to the AKS resource within Azure, then we go to the configuration section. We can view here the automatic upgrade. We can do that and we can automate that process. This means that each time there are a new uh, image that is available to be for the upgrade, AKS will do the upgrade automatically. And we can enhance this experience by choosing a window or a maintenance window to say, for example, perform this upgrade at the midnight, for example, instead of uh, on the day. And we can also do it manually on the Azure portal. If I go to the node pools of my cluster, then I would see here an option that is update the image. If I click there, it will show me the current version used for the node image and another or the newest version that is available. We can also upgrade the node images using the Azure CLI or the command line. So in this sample PowerShell script, I am creating an AKS cluster, then I view the version that is used within the default node pool, which is open to 18.04. And then I can view that same information if I run a ZAKS node pool get upgrades to look for the possible upgrades. And this example here, I don't have any new upgrade, but if there are any upgrade it will be displayed right here. And then next, if I want to launch or if I want to start that upgrade process, I will run the command azaks node pool, specify the exact node pool, and then I run the command upgrade. And note here, we are using the flag node image only. This is to make sure 
to upgrade only the node image. I don't want to upgrade to a newer Kubernetes version. So this will keep the current Kubernetes version, but it will go to upgrade to the newest image that was pushed by Azure. When we perform node image upgrade, AKS will perform a rolling upgrade for those nodes. And that is almost the same process that will happen when we upgrade the cluster. So when we run AZ AKS upgrade to a newer version, behind the scenes, AKS will also perform a rolling upgrade for the nodes. It means we'll go to upgrade the nodes one by one. But during the cluster upgrade, what will happen is that in addition to, the update, to updating the node image version, AKS will go to upgrade the Kubernetes version. What happens during an AKS cluster upgrade? Let's say here I have a cluster with the three nodes running the version 123 of Kubernetes and I want to upgrade to the version 124. When I start that upgrade operation, a node number four will be creating and it will be used as a buffer node that will use the new version 124. This new node is created in order to deploy the applications because during the rolling upgrade of the cluster, some nodes will not be available. So the pods running there, they will be deployed into this new virtual machine or the new node. Next, what will happen is that AKS will perform that rolling upgrade. It means it will start upgrading the nodes one by one. It will start with the first node, the node zero in this case. So it will go to cordon and drain the pods running inside this node. Cordon means that it will stop deploying pods into this uh, node. And drain means that it will go to evict the pods that are already running inside this node. And here we'll be using that buffer virtual machine to add more compute uh, capacity and memory capacity to my cluster. And then the other pods could be deployed either to the buffer or to the other available nodes within my cluster. And it's the scheduler, the scheduler who will decide where to deploy those pods. Next, AKS will perform that upgrade operation for this empty node. So that will take a few uh, seconds for that image to be uh, upgraded. And then next, we'll view that image that will appear with the new Kubernetes version. In our case, that's the version 124. And then AKS will move to the second node in order to upgrade it. That is the node one in my case. So again, it will perform cordon and the drain of the pods from that node, and then it will go to upgrade that node to the newest version, 124. Then that same process will be repeated with the node number two. And note, each, note that each time the pods will be rescheduled onto different nodes that are available. So now I have the three nodes of my cluster that are running the version 124 and now I have that additional virtual machine, the buffer node. So now the objective is that we go to delete that buffer node. So that node already contains some pods that are deployed there. So first AKS will perform cordon and drain for these pods. Those will, this will go to evict the pods to be running on the other virtual machines or the other nodes available within my cluster. Once that buffer VM is empty, now AKS will go to delete that node or that buffer node. And now we will have the three nodes available in my cluster with the newest version. Let's see now what happens on the command line. So when we perform AZ AKS upgrade or node pool upgrade, then we'll see that immediately when we try to get the pods of the cluster, we'll see that buffer node that will appear right here with the new version. And then next few, uh, few seconds or few minutes later, we'll see that first node that will perform the upgrade operation will be, will have the status scheduling disabled because it was uh, cordoned and drained by the AKS cluster. And then next, that first node will be removed for upgrade. So when I perform get nodes, I will not see that uh, node available. After that, we'll see that node will be available and will pop up with the new version of Kubernetes. 
the same process will be repeated for the other nodes for the node number one and for the node number two so, so they will be upgraded and then next the last step would be to cordon and drain the surge node or the buffer uh, node and then it will go to remove it from my cluster so i will end up with three nodes exactly as i did have at the beginning and the three nodes will have the same names as the beginning so then next when i do azaks node pool show the node image version i will view here that a new node the new image available so note here that uh, we are still using a Ubuntu 18.04 with version 124 of AKS. But however, if we now, if we try to upgrade to the version 125 by doing a ZAKS upgrade to 125, then at the end of the upgrade operation, we'll view that now AKS will be using the version uh, Ubuntu 22.04. Thank you.